Please join us in prayer for the sick and the homebound and those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find health and deliverance. And so join us in thanking for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, today we celebrate the solemnity of two pillars of the church, St. Peter and St. Paul. Um, totally different people, but uh, in Christ they were one. Uh, they were proclaiming the gospel of the Lord uh, as they matched, they, they could. So through their intercession, let us ask the Lord for the same, to give us the courage to proclaim uh, the gospel of the Lord uh, through our words, but more through our, through our deeds, our actions. Uh, today we have uh, many... Uh, celebrations. Uh, <clears throat> intentions of this Mass is uh, for Deacon Charlie Semino uh, in his eighth anniversary of the Aconet. Um, I don't know if he's watching, but let us pray for him and congratulations. May the Lord bless him. Uh, also, we have uh, Roger and Linda Gallinari family. The, the intention, uh, Roger and Linda celebrate today, 47, 47. So also our congratulations. And a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, Lenny and Maria Capobianco, 63 years of wedding anniversary. So the best wishes uh, from us, uh, may the Lord bless you and may he make uh, your love even stronger. Thank you so much for bringing this beautiful testimony this morning to this church. At the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, uh, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul give us the noble and holy joy all this day, grant we pray that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword, and when he saw this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while outside the door guards kept watch of the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him saying, get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrist. The angel said to him, put on your belt and your sandals he did so. Then he said to him, put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, then came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, Now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the land of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Glorify the Lord with, Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord, the Lord delivered, delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have completed 
competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the past judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Saints Peter and Paul are often referred to as two of the great pillars of the church. They each played an incredibly essential role in the establishment of the early church. And though each of their roles were essential and foundational, their roles were as different as they were different as persons. Peter was a family man, a local fisherman, uneducated and quite ordinary. From what we know about him prior to being called by Jesus, there was nothing that made him uniquely qualified to become one of the pillars of the new church to be established by the Son of God. Jesus simply called him and he responded. Jesus got into Peter's boat 
ordered him to lower the nets and produced a huge catch of fish. When Peter saw this miracle, he fell down at Jesus' feet and acknowledged that he was a sinful man who was unworthy of being in Jesus' presence. But Jesus informed Peter that he would from now on be catching men. And Peter immediately left everything behind and followed Jesus. Paul describes himself as a Jew born of, at Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, educated according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers. Paul was well educated in the strictest interpretation of the Jewish law, understood philosophy, and was quite zealous as a young man. Recall also that prior to becoming a convert to Christianity, he persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. In many ways, Paul would have been seen as the most unlikely person to be chosen to be a pillar of the church because he so vigorously opposed it at first. He even supported the killing of St. Stephen, the first Christian martyr. Though each of these men would have been considered by many as very unlikely founders of the Christian church, this is exactly what they became. Paul, after his conversion, traveled far and wide to preach the gospel, founding several new churches throughout Asia Minor and Europe. Eventually, he was arrested in Jerusalem, brought to Rome for trial, and was beheaded. Over half of the New Testament books are attributed to Paul, and half of the Acts of the Apostles detail Paul's missionary journeys. Paul is especially known for his missionary activity to the Gentiles, those who were not Jews. Peter's role was truly a unique one. His name was changed from Simon to Peter by Jesus. Recall Jesus saying, and I tell you, you are Peter, Petros, and on this rock, Petra, I will build my church. Peter in Greek is Petros, meaning a single stone that is movable. However, the Greek word Petra means a rock as solid formation that is fixed, immovable, and enduring. Therefore, Jesus chose to make Peter this single stone into a solid foundation of immovable rock on which the church was to be built. You too have been called by our Lord to a unique mission within the church that has not been entrusted to another. In your own way, God wants to use you to reach certain people with the gospel as he did with St. Paul. And like St. Peter, God wants to continue to establish his church upon you and your faith. Reflect today upon those two holy and unique pillars of our church. And as you do, ponder how God may want to use you to continue their mission in this world. Though Saints Peter and Paul are among the greatest and most consequential Christians within our world, their mission must continue. And you are among the instruments that God wants to use. Commit yourselves to this mission to, so that the preaching of the gospel and the rock foundation of our church will remain strong within our day and age, just as it was of old. So today, let us pray. Heavenly Father, St. Peter was uniquely chosen to be a rock foundation of faith upon which the church was established. St. Paul went forth to preach this faith far and wide, establishing many new communities. Please use me to continue the mission of your church so that the faith may be firmly planted in the minds and hearts of all of your people throughout the world. Amen. And now let us profess our faith. 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as a man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. With trust in God, the Father of us all, we offer our prayers to Him for ourselves and for our church. For the Holy Father and all priests and religious, that the Holy Spirit will continue to lead and guide them to proclaiming that Christ is Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God bless their work in bringing peace to divided communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may Jesus, who is the divine physician, grant them healing graces. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may God's loving presence and our participation in the sacraments protect and perfect us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into the fullness of paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear the prayers of your faithful and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through your Son, Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For though the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For though the vine and work of human, human hands will become our spiritual drink, Let must be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrary heart may be accepted by you, Lord, may sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration, and may their intercession make us devoted to you in the celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter foremost in confessing the faith, Paul in outstanding preacher. Peter who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world, they share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered, Willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In the receiving of your brother in love of Jesus Christ and the church of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us for eternal life. Communion Antiphon. Peter said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by the sacrament, so to live in the church that persevering in the breaking of bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, may steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Lenny and Maria, could you? Oh, I can go there if you want with the holy water. You can stay there, okay? For the blessing. So first, uh, we'll do the blessing for you, and then uh, we'll not allow to have to miss this opportunity to bless uh, Dick and Roger and Linda as well. Okay? So be prepared. So first. Okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. Could you go there, and you will help me with. Okay. You can hold your hands, not mine. You can look into each other. So I invite you to also to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and blessings you have given this couple during the past 63 years of marriage. We celebrate and recall the day when they joined together as partners in life, and we thank you for being with them on their daily journey together through lives, ups and downs. We thank you that you have freely given them your presence, strength, help and hope. We pray that they will continue to grow in their ability to work together for the good of each other, for the good of their family and for the good of the world. Fill them with love, forgiveness, patience and trust. Increase their sense of companionship and friendship. Grant them the ability to laugh at their mistakes and a means to share the simple pleasures of life together. Enable them to speak the truth in love. Help them to be good listeners. Surround them with good friends and neighbors. Protect their home. Care for their family. Provide for their needs. Guard their health. And may they enjoy many other anniversaries together. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. You can kiss each other. <laughs> Beautiful. No, I prefer the Polish one. Could you take it from here? If we have that here, so why not? It is not like, what did you say? Irish. It's not Irish shower. It's Polish shower. So congratulations. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. So now, uh, now it's turn for that for you guys. Dear Heavenly Father. We thank you for the blessing and grace you have given this couple during the past 47 years of marriage. We celebrate and recall the day when they joined together as partners in life, and we thank you for being with them on, day, on their daily journey together through life's ups and downs. And we thank you that you have freely given them your presence, strength, help, and hope. We pray that they will continue to grow in their ability to work together for the good of each other, for the good of the family, and for the good of the world. Fill them with your love, forgiveness, patience, and trust. Increase their sense of companionship and friendship. Grant them the ability to love at their mistakes and a means to share the simple pleasures of life together. Enable them to speak the truth in love. Help them to be good listeners. Surround them with good friends and neighbors, protect their home, care for their family, provide for their needs, guard their health, and may they enjoy many other anniversaries together through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You can also kiss each other. Okay. Uh, you need to help me with that. Okay. More water on you. So I thank you. <laughs> so congratulations, okay? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Bye. 
You know, it's always good to have uh, the blessings, not because we, are, we have so much fun with holy water. Uh, it is as well, it's nice. But, uh, you know, um, there are many, many young marriages, and even on Sunday, we, you can see that we have more and more young families, so it's great encouragement when they hear that as you know, 60, 47, 50 uh, anniversaries, it's great encouragement for them. So thank you so much for doing that to be, to allow us to, to give that blessing because it's not only for, for you guys, but also for those who are in the marriages and who might be struggle. so they can see it's really possible. It's really possible. <laughs> okay, so there will be the blessing and after we have the exposition of the blessed sacrament, so if anybody would like to stay uh, for a moment to pray, uh, we invite you. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your heads for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for he has made you steadfast, you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession, and through it has set you on the solid rock of the church's faith. Amen. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ. Amen. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the wor words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on the cross and Paul by the blade of a sword. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God who trusted His only Son, and you Mary place her trust with you Mary. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. O salutari sostia, veteli pani ostium, bella premun ostilia, tarabu per Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mother's womb, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, glowing furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, vessel of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, 
have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and rich in mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, rich to all who call upon you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, font of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with reproaches. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our iniquities. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient even unto death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for all our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who hope in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all saints. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your most beloved Son and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers you in the name of sinners. And to those who implore your mercy, in your great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.